First at 5.30, major developments in a story we've been tracking since last year. A mother stabbed to death on Mother's Day. Her young daughter was home at the time of the killing. Now today, nearly a year after the brutal crime, an emotional day in court as the victim's estranged husband is sentenced for murder. It's our top local story at 5.30. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner is live in the newsroom with what he's learned. Mike Kelly, good evening. If there's one thing that was absolutely palpable, it's this turmoil that this family is undergoing, struggling, but trying to find some way to move forward. A daughter devastated by grief flashes out at the Thursday sentencing of her mother's murderer. Twenty-two-year-old Olivia Walmsley shouting at forty-six-year-old Robert Bathia just after he admitted to fatally stabbing his estranged wife, forty-one-year-old mother of two, Shalina Marino, in her Central Falls apartment on Mother's Day, 2014. Her now nine-year-old daughter was there during the murder. Marina's father spoke directly to Robert Bathia. If there's one question I would like to ask you, Robert Bathia, is why? Why? My heart is filled with death for you. However, my mind says this is not what should be Marie. And you know, being a forgiving, compassionate person would have won. The sentence imposed on you today is satisfactory. Perhaps your actions are unforgivable and unredeemable to me because they are final. The state had charged Bathia with domestic murder before pleading it down to second degree. Bathia turned with a quivering voice to the gallery. I just want to say I'm, uh, I'm sorry. After the judge imposed a life sentence at the ACI. And Marino's daughter remains in the custody of the state. Her family desperately wants to be reunited with her. Another thing that her father, the victim's father, said outside court, he put out a call to the public to recognize the signs of domestic violence and its escalation. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.